the forward pipetting technique. This is the most commonly used pipetting technique for standard pipetting. Use this method for aqueous solutions such as buffers, diluted acids or alkalis. It is commonly used when pipetting and mixing a sample or reagent into another liquid. Press the operating button to the first stop. Dip the tip to a maximum of one centimeter beneath the meniscus into the solution and allow the tip to fill with careful control of the operating button. Hold for a minimum of three seconds for aqueous liquids and a minimum of five seconds for viscous liquids. Draw the tip from the liquid. Gently press the operating button to the first stop to dispense the liquid. Wait one second and press the operating button to the second stop to completely empty the tip. Then touch off the tip and remove the tip from the vessel by sliding it up the vessel wall. The reverse pipetting technique for high viscosity or foaming solutions. Press the operating button to the second stop. Dip the tip to a maximum of one centimeter beneath the meniscus into the solution and allow the tip to fill with careful control of the operating button. Hold for a minimum of three seconds for aqueous liquids and a minimum of five seconds for viscous liquids. Withdraw the tip from the liquid. Gently press the operating button to the first stop to dispense the liquid and hold the button in position. Do not dispense liquid that remains in the tip. Remove the tip by sliding it along the vessel wall. Discard any remaining liquid along with the tip. Release the operating button to the ready position. The repetitive pipetting technique for pipetting the same volume repeatedly. Ideal for pipetting master mix into a QPCR plate, for example. Press the operating button to the second stop. Dip the tip to a maximum of one centimeter beneath the meniscus into the solution and allow the tip to fill with careful control of the operating button. Hold for a minimum of three seconds for aqueous liquids and a minimum of five seconds for viscous liquids. Withdraw the tip from the liquid. Gently press the operating button to the first stop to dispense the liquid and hold the button in position. Remove the tip by sliding it along the vessel wall. Repeat steps two and three to continue pipetting. We have recommendations for different liquids. For example, aqueous solutions, buffers, diluted salt solutions, etc. Use an air displacement pipette and the standard pipette tips and use the forward pipetting technique. For more viscous solutions, protein and nucleic acid solutions, glycerol, between 20, 40, 60, 80, etc. Then we say there's a choice of pipettes you could use. You can use an air displacement pipette using the standard or low retention or wide orifice tips, whichever gives the best result. And consider using the reverse pipetting technique. Pipette slowly to avoid bubble formation. Or you could consider using a positive displacement pipette with the standard tips. But of course, there are many other types of liquid. If you have a difficult application or have difficulty pipetting accurately um, under any particular application, then why not get in touch with us? And we will consider and get back to you 
um, in a short period of time regarding our recommendations.